Next thing I like to do is trace the major arterial channels, channels through the uh, forearm uh, to the wrist. You remember that there's a single major artery in the, for in the arm, that of course is the brachial artery. And you can see it up here in the distal part of the arm, uh, just medial of the biceps and the medial neurovascular bundle, followed it into the forearm by passing through the cubital tunnel in a position between the biceps tendon and the median nerve. It then passes deep in the cubital fossa, and what I've done to expose that is to separate the pronator and clean the fossa out, a lot of the fascia, and you can see the brachial artery here as it enters the forearm uh, in the cubital fossa, and typically it branches into its two terminal branches just distal to about the uh, level of the elbow joint, and here you can see that happening. Uh, got this hemostat on here just so I could uh, keep it elevated and out of the way, and its two major branches are the radial artery, which passes distally on the radial side, and the ulnar artery, uh, which passes distally on the medial side.